big dog from good kid. Welcome to the first edition of Who Made That Bet? This is Coach Steve, Cyrus Lake Hornets, coach of the AU Hornets. AU Hornets, Hornets. Yes, sir. Tell us about this little uh, uh, wager you guys have on this week's Game of the Week at Ruttenberg Field. Cyber Lake Hornets are home against the Lee County Hawks. The bet was I paint my beard green. Mm -hmm. He paints his um, little Hawks green patch. He has to paint it purple. Right. So he hit me with the, um, if you win the best out of the series, that's who paints the hair. Okay, so, so now, okay, go ahead, sir. I gotta get one more win, and I think this week he's gonna have to paint his hair purple. All right, well, let me make this clear. If that's the case, whether your beard's gonna be green or his hair is gonna be purple, we're gonna be there. We're gonna document this. We're gonna be there with our cameras. To whoever has to, you know, for whoever has to do this. I love this, man. It's it's good competition between coaches, friendly competition. Exactly. Let me get it clear. Cairo, Coach Steve. Yeah, we're good. They, it's fun and games. They're good friends. They hug it out. It's nothing, you know. It's just a little yeah. fun thing online. And uh, Cairo has a hair business. Correct. And uh, he already has the green in his hair. Right. You're looking to make it purple. Yes. Okay. Make it purple. Horn is purple. Right. So what is, what's the plan to make that happen this weekend? We're going to stop him and Beast Mode said he's going to run. So, so we're going to find out. So I'm, 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 is, it, is the bet for 60 or is it 80? No, 60. The bet's for 60? Yeah, I'm not even the coach. Okay. I just believe in our 60. All right. So at 9 o'clock, we have the game of the hair dye, beard dye, hair dye. If that can't get you going, man, it's going to be fun. We're going to have Coach Steve out there, Coach Kyle Campbell's Lee County Hall, Cypress Lake Hornets. It's exactly. on this weekend. That's some, I mean, how long do you have to leave the, the coloring? We didn't really come up with a date, but he right. told me once he dies, it, it, it don't come out. So well, it's going to be a while for him. He is a hair <laughs> guy, so he knows. He knows. So, hey, this weekend, it's going down. Yeah. It's going to happen. These guys are a man of their word. Correct. And it's gonna happen. So come out here, check it out. Check out Coach Kyle Campbell's and in the, the, the Lee County Hawks, Cypress Lake Hornets. Two great organizations getting it on this Saturday. Set it off Saturday. Southwest Florida Youth League. Big Dream Sports TV. Appreciate you coming on. Best of luck, Kyro. We're gonna make it happen. Best of luck, Kyro. <laughs>
you know, top notch, yeah. first class organization every time. How does it feel to be in this league now? How do you feel about where you guys stand as an organization? Yeah, it's it's uh it was a little tricky the first year. I mean, especially going from Pop Warner to AYF. It was right. uh yeah. you know, we, we, we actually we obviously didn't have a split vote you know, because we voted to go over down during the wait, but uh we did have a lot of a lot of critics up there. A lot of people, you know, didn't want their kids to be involved with larger kids. Uh, but the one thing that we all truly believe here, uh, at that time maybe it wasn't 100%, but the very next year we found individuals who believed in what we believed in, which was you know, the kids are born to be playing with these bigger kids anyways when they get into the high school stage. You know? So uh, if anything, we teach them now. You know? right. and, and we're able to actually teach a lot of these kids in the position they should be in. You know? If you could uh, give any advice to parents out there that may want to volunteer, may want to do things, maybe like hold the chains, work the set stand, work the gate, or do anything, what can they do to help? Well, I mean, we're always open for help for anything, you know. Um, but I think the biggest thing is, is you know, I've heard people saying it already before, but it's, it's about family. Big Dream Sports TV would like to thank all scrap recycling, accident experts, Ask B About Solar, and CLB. Big Dream Sports sitting here with Cypress Lakes, 10U coach, Coach Izzy. Set it off Saturday this week, Cypress Lake Corners, Lee County Hawks, Southwest Florida Youth League, powered by FU, brought to you by Big Dreams. This right here, I'm going to tell you from just being on the sidelines for a couple years now around this league, one of the most intense coaches I've seen in this league, one of the most quality coaches I've seen in this league, and he takes it serious, but he, you know, I can tell he t cares about these kids. So my first question to you is, why do you do what you do, and why do you care so much? Wow. Um, I, I didn't mean to get so deep on you so quick. Why did I do it? It's about the kids, man. Um, a lot of these kids come from, from a single parent home. Um, this is their only way out. You have to love the game. You have to love the kids to get this. To me, it's about the kids. Building the future. It's always been about building that future. You know? We have a lot of kids that are great athletes, but when they get to that high school level, they tend to fall off for some strange reason. You know, my, it's, you got to start here early. Start them early, get them disciplined, get them going in the right direction, and let them know, listen, this is only a small step. You got to get ready for high school. High school, you got to get ready for college. What about this organization that you love so much? It's all about the kids. One thing I can say, I've been to other organizations, and I've been in this game a long time. Cypress is about the kids, and that's where we separate from probably everybody else because it's all about the kids. I gotta say there's a lot of uh, all the organizations I've been around in this league are, are top notch and Cypress is anyway, give me one of your best memories as a coach out here for the Cypress State Corners. I think my best memory would be last year when we played the Delaware Ducks at the FBU Nationals. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, we went like it was like full overtime, and it was we, were, we were under underrated. We were undersized, big time undersized. But yeah. one thing we preach with our kids is don't you don't give up. Yeah. Just because they're crazy don't mean nothing. We we we're gonna play to the last horn, and we'll keep playing until they can't play no more. So I mean, to me that probably was one of my best memories I had out here at Cypress. And I gotta say I was at that game with with, with Drew when we were recording it, and you guys won that game. On that two point, I think it was a two point conversion yep. that they didn't count, but it should have counted. So y'all had that game and y'all fought to the end. And like I said, uh, me and him are close personal friends, but I'm telling you, from watching from a distance, this is one of the uh, most intense coaches in the city. Cares a lot. He got one of the, one, one I'm most impressed with that I've been around just watching him from a distance. So I want to tell you, I appreciate what you do, man, and, and for the organization, not just for the organization, but for the kids. Big dog, good kick.